right, I'm rolling. All right, three, two. Today on Burger Brothers, we're going to live a little uh, high society at Ooh. society. That's right, we have a special <laughs> guest. And actually, the person we're going to be talking to in here might be a familiar face, somebody that used to play a little football at TU. So that's kind of cool, too. That's Let's it. Let's head inside and Get her stuff done. the bellies. First off, welcome Dina McLeod to the show uh, from the Woody Guthrie Center. Um, obviously, a, a special part of this city. We think so, and thank you. Uh huh. And uh, of course, we've been exploring some special parts of this city with this show, yes. and uh, we're glad to have you along. Oh, thanks for inviting me. I, you know, I, I'm glad that the Burger Brothers are embracing a sister. That's nice. That's yes, it. You know, hey, we're this is only the second sister, I think, right? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, Dr. So. Deborah Gist, yeah. and not you. Oh, so we're, I'm in fine company. We're to, uh, tall, yeah. Nobody's gonna. I'll try to know it's too. We might as well just stop now. <laughs> hey, <we're pretty> nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, what do we got here? What are you gonna go for? You, you first. Um. Yeah, I think we should get an appetizer. We should go with that pimento bacon jam. Pimento yeah. bacon jam. Yeah. We should try it. I gotta, I gotta admit, I've actually had this before, and I am not a big pimento fan. Yeah. This stuff is really good. Well, it's got bacon in it, oh, and man. it's yes. jam. I mean, bacon it makes everything better. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Are right, you saying about that? the truffle fries? Are uh, you going that route? Yeah, let's let me the pimento bacon jam and the truffle fries. What do you think? Yeah. I'm gonna say you gotta add the, the fried pickles just to... Uh, Get a little crazy with it. All right. It comes with the uh, homemade with ranch too. So yeah. and then, all right. So yeah, we'll get pimento bacon jam, fried pickles, and some truffle fries. How about burgers? Do you do turkey burgers? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. No. I come well, from uh, Oklahoma. We eat beef. That's how the West was on. You know, I'm drawn to this Oki burger just because, for apparent reasons, but. I think I want to do the classic and get an egg on it. Nice. Yeah. I like yeah. it. I like it. I, egg, thank egg. you. Sometimes we worry. Egg you know, a burger? lot of people, you know, they claim burgers, you know, badness, but then they come and they, they do try to go off, you know, and, and get a chicken something, something, or something, yeah. you know. No, no, so, no. It's, it's well a burger, done. but you got to put right. the egg on it. There it over is. Medium. Um, over medium would be really good. good. Thank Perfect. you. I'm going to get the. Uh, I'm gonna get the Oki burger. No mayo. No mayo? No mayo. Are, do any other veggies come on that? Uh, just the onions. Just the onions? Perfect. Okay, good. And I'm gonna go with the Theta burger. Good choice. Yeah. And, uh, wait, can I pull the barbecue sauce off of that though? Or is that weird? No. Yeah, I don't it's want no barbecue totally sauce. Weird, man. <laughs> but can I add mustard on that burger? Okay. Do you want to add an egg or bacon to yours? Oh man, you're putting me on the spot now. Oh, I feel so ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> can you stay, can you keep up with me? I mean, come on, Burger yeah. Brother. Come on. Come on, big man. Come on. Put the comment down like, eat an egg. Boy. Making fun of me for not being very, very tall. Come on. I don't, listen, I don't want to make a perfect uh, recipe That's here. I don't want to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we'll take three everything. <laughs> no, I think I'm good to go. I mean, between the pimento bacon jam, fried pickles, truffle fries, and a theta. Woo. Yeah. Do you have a place where we can take a nap after we eat? Right. Carry many people out. Okay. Oh, we're gonna need then walkers. Good. Yeah. Pimento bacon jam. That sounds like that could be like a concert. A band. That's yeah, a great yeah. band. The band. Pimento bacon jam. At the Woody Guthrie um, Center. At, we're in. Hey, real quick though, Thank get a you. shot of this bar. I love this because it looks like Cuba. Uh, it looks like Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's like the, the, the black and white one. Oh, oh, That's very good. From an 80s. That was one of those five. games that I always loved, but I was always not very good at. Yeah. Dragon's Lair. Remember that weird one? I remember that one. I remember it's trying to play it. It's like, when it like, doesn't really tell like doing what I'm asking it to. Yeah. It was 50 cents. I was that was super. a lot. When I got done playing, I actually went to grad school first in Northwestern. Okay. Got my MBA in finance yeah. and went to work for Goldman Sachs in Dallas. 
uh, did that for three years and didn't enjoy it. So I was looking to make a change. And the owner of Rip Crib, who, who owns Society, uh, asked me, you know, if you want to come back home, I've got a spot for you. So nice. um, that was two years ago, and you know, been in the restaurant That's biz it. ever That's since. It. People disappoint, burgers provide, you know what yes. I mean? The burger will never let you down. So you, you made the right choice. Yeah. You followed your heart. That's right. That's right. Goldman Sachs. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, yeah. man. Finance. So finance football to finance to yeah. burgers. I'm in the career path. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Everyone does uncharted, that, right? You know, uncharted waters there, my friend, but good luck. I mean, good luck. Lay that out. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's right. Right. of course. That's the right. obvious. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. And you guys have been here, it's almost a year? Yeah, almost a year. Uh, next week, it'll be a year. So awesome, awesome. we opened this last June. We've got uh, our second location under construction right now. We'll open in July. In Tulsa? Yep, in oh, South nice. Tulsa. Um, and then hopefully more to come after that. You know what is crazy about it? Because we have such a great selection of like historic burger joints, yet there's still room uh -huh. for more. This yeah. is one, you're gonna do another possibly. And so it's. Burger culture is alive and well here. Oh, when I, mean, I came here, I couldn't believe how many uh, <laughs> options I had. You don't. Nobody says in LA, "Hey, let's go get a burger." So when Ron yeah. said that, I was like, "You married, bro?" <laughs> <laughs> I like to sit up and and Ooh, I can smell the chocolate. Uh, Woo! <laughs> Woo! Wow. Yeah, that's all you, Ron. I do not get down. <laughs> <laughs> Something about the the aroma of a truffle either is it. Most people love it. For me, it's like. I will die again. Yeah, I'm okay. fine with you. Excellent. No don't partake. <laughs> Bring that to me. Oh my goodness. goodness. Give him those fries. Well, just oh, look at that now. All right. Oh, yeah. I need five. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. My goodness. Burgers will be out in six or seven minutes. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. <coughs> Dino, we spared no expense for you. I know, right? The big the big 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 in. It may be hot, Dina. Be careful. I will be careful. I'll, I'll just let it cool. Yeah, in the, the truffle, meantime, the truffle fries end up okay. being a, a fork. Okay. You, well, you can dig in if you want. Sometimes they get a little messy with the truffle aioli. Oh, my goodness. Not bad? For breakfast, too. Mm -hmm. Look at you. Yeah, no, for breakfast. Look at you. I have your own. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anything with cheese is my favorite. I don't know. Especially when it's burnt like that. Yeah. I used to do the Get open face. Uh, as a kid, we used to have a toaster oven. Make those grilled cheese sandwiches. Let them get like dark brown at the top. We're almost basically let it, like on fire. The pickles are great. The breading isn't too thick. Yeah. Yeah, but I like we that. We keep it light and, you know, bread it to order and oh. the pickle itself is, you Wait, probably saw it, but, yeah. Ten second rule. <laughs> so now I need to try your truffle Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So who made the menu? How does that, how does that work? You guys start a, a burger joint, you hire out a chef to come up with? We kind of hire, hired out a chef to get us started. Uh, we now have a corporate chef on staff. Um, at our corporate office, so you know any any R and D moving forward runs through him, so we have that benefit. But to get things started, you know, obviously the good thing about a burger is it's not it's not overly complicated. You know, you, That's the beauty. First, you find a good bun, find good meat, and then you, you know, figure out what toppings you want to put on it. True. So that was kind of the basis of the of the menu, and we knew we wanted a combination of classic items mixed with some <laughs> kind of unusual items. Yeah, that's the way um, to go. To give some some variety. But you know, we, we also focused on a lot of scratch homemade stuff. You know, not many people do their own mayo, but we, we decided to make our mayo in-house. Um, we compared it to bottled mayo, and it just ended up being better. So. Always better in-house. These are amazing. I remember right. getting mesmerized by seeing how mayo was made. Yeah. I remember, no, that's not how it's done. Eggs, oil, yeah. Eggs and oil. So we the two main ones. It's also a bar, right? So you guys, are, you have a lot of, yeah, a burger bar. Yeah, yeah the, and the focus on the bar is local beer. So we have we have 16 taps. All 16 are Tulsa beer, Tulsa beers brewed here in town. Oh, great. And then we have about 30 other Oklahoma beers that we sell in, in cans. So um, that's kind of what, how we wanted to center the bar was around again local stuff and 
Um, that, that extends to the kitchen too. We get our ice cream. You know, you guys have to save room for shakes. Oh, look out now! <laughs> You're going to give us the gout, too, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. Here we go. Here we go. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, look oh, out. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to move this out of the picture because yeah. I can see I got a picture coming. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that. The well factor. Oh, wow. Look out oh, now. That's right up my trouser. That is. That's oh, heaven man. right there. Oh, so is this. Yeah. Great job, Tony. Ooh, we, I am when I go get bagels amazing. in the morning, when they got the cheese ones and there's a little extra cheese, everybody fights over that. That's mine, I have a shirt. <laughs> if you're in line, you see it, you hope that nobody orders it behind the Asiago this. with a little <laughs> Oh my goodness, this looks like the, the flying nun. Oh my God. Do we need anything? Oh, oh, oh bib. Yeah. <laughs> so you can fold it, take the top bone, fold all the cheese in. Ooh. So get the, like, the trim I skirt. would literally take that whole piece of cheese and I just mean, like, fold it up and just it where, it where, it Where's the camera? Can I show? What, yeah. Brett, where, where are you? <laughs> I, think he's, I think he's just Oh, my goodness. Hopefully, are you rolling still? Yeah. Oh, you Oh, man. Rolling. Get a close up of that, man. I've never seen anything like it. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, I like oh, the little geez, look at that. edges all around the cheese. Oh. Look at that. Good Lord. All right, cover me. I'm going in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to get nasty in my hands. Since I've got an egg, I'm going to do this. This is not typical, but... Oh, look oh, out now. Yeah, that's oh, man. Man. I hope you get that. That's, that's how I'd be doing that right there. Uh, Pull mm. the cheese off this, and yeah. go to town. That's, that's why I cut it in. Yep. Yeah. My goodness. Oh, it's like a grilled cheese and a burger oh, together. That is amazing. Okay. So I'll talk about our buns a little bit. Um, they're from Poncho and I. It's a local bakery. They're actually made by hand, um, which we were impressed by, given how many we order from them. But they make them by hand, and they deliver three to four times a week. Okay. Ready to ready to do, ready to do this? Go wait, wait, we're gonna synchronize. We gotta okay. synchronize. Oh my God! Ready? You're gonna synchronize. You're gonna I'm gonna make a hole where I can make a hole. All right, ready? Let's do this. Cheers. Cheers. My goodness. That's a handful. I mean, I'm going to have to eat the cheese away first before I even start taking the burger. Mm -hmm. we, we give out knives, but I always respect the people that don't cut the burger. Oh, yeah. They just go all in. Don't worry about her. <laughs> yeah. She's new. It has an egg on it. <laughs> That's fair. She's new. This is what I have. Now that you're on your face, the egg, the egg is on your face now. <laughs> <laughs> No, listen, I get it. It would have been a mess. Dina, I usually cut the, the burger, too, so. The, the egg is mm -hmm. nicely done. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Save room, Ron. Not bad. Milkshakes, buddy. I'm, I, Not bad. I chose the right one. I'm going to move that so my egg knows. As much as I want to try these, this is perfection right here. Yeah. you got to try some of this cheese, though. There's any too much for the, the kid. Just take that side. Come on. It's a piece right here. See if you like it. Come on, just oh, a little something. <laughs> go, keep going, go big. Ah! <laughs> the dainty little. Wow. Like if I could oh. package this and. Yeah, I mean, in bag, you just eat this and sticks with the thing and, and a little, stuff. yeah. Yeah. Who needs pork skin? So we got this, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Now we're in trouble, Ron. That's um, amazing. We're paying for this later. You know that, right? Yeah. yeah. Like when we're 70. What is the sauce? <laughs> mayo, yeah, so we, it's our house sauce. So it's actually mayo combined with a pop of pepper, um, which is kind of a sweet pepper. It doesn't have a lot of kick to it. But, you know, it's our version of a house sauce that, that we kind of came across and, and really think it's unique. It's really, really good. Yeah. It kind of gives the, the burger, even though it's a heavy burger, a kind of a light, fresh taste mm -hmm. to it. I got to be honest, I was worried coming here because I knew it was a chain. Or, you know, you're not a chain, but you're connected to a chain. My fear always is that in larger corporations, things get lost. Yeah. You, just by describing, just by tasting the food, seeing what you do, your knowledge of all the little nuances that go into it is uh, refreshing and soaring. And, and, and it, it, you won me over just by that, in the sense that, like, you know, this is what makes it special, is that you, you, there's, the pride goes into these things. The buns are handmade. Mm -hmm. You know what the proprietary mix of, yeah. of meat, because everywhere else that we go that are like staples here, 
that's the thing. They can't wait to tell you what goes into yeah. the burger. And it's a lot. It looks simple. The way they grill this and add onion there and what time to do it and how to do it, where they source those those things. And I worry that coming here or anywhere, that it's like a big conglomerate type of, you know, that it's an afterthought. And here, clearly, it's not. It's that's the a, thing That's the thing at the smaller places. Is that, you know, you, you can feel the the love that they have for it and the food, and that kind of comes Yeah, it's not just a too. job. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. They're yeah. like, we yeah, stand behind our stuff. Yeah. We've been here for X amount of years, and it's why they've stayed. Yeah. It's probably why you will stay. You know what I mean? In, 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 in 50 years, they'll be coming here, man. Oh, this was from the... 2018. Yeah. <laughs> they go way back, you yeah. know. And you, if you're doing this kind of stuff over here, uh, for sure, well, and you, know, you can taste it. Yeah. Guests feel that authenticity, and guests also know when authenticity becomes, you know, fraudulent in a way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so you know, that's is something is important to us is that it comes across as, as genuine, real, authentic. Um, and the only way you can do that is actually by doing it, right? But, you know, you, you can only make mayo taste homemade if it's homemade. Um, so, so thinking about it that way and thinking, developing our menu with that mindset, um, you know, even though we are a 60-unit barbecue group that, that, you know, has grown barbecue from one location in 92 to, to 60 now, you know, obviously that brings certain things in terms of, of, of reputation. Yep. Um, but we were only able to do that because we focused on the food, and, and that carries over to the burgers as well. Wow, well done, man. You know, as, as much as this burger has on it, it really, it's not heavy. I mean, I don't feel yeah. like I just ate a huge burger. Speak for yourself, Dina. We're going to have to edit and be like, the, the egg 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 oh my goodness. Go with the egg, it makes it light. It just lightens it. I, I take it as a compliment, but you're, you're one quarter of the way through. Yeah. So, well, I hope you're full by the end. On it. <laughs> Ron's gonna help. But me. you don't have to finish. Oh. <laughs> you might be tapping out. So yeah. much goodness in the you cheese. You gotta save room for the milkshakes. Oh my God. I, I'm, I'm bringing to the table so okay. you guys can yeah, choose no, whether to have it. <laughs> Even Ron, look at that man. Ron has been. Don't let me down, Ron. He's I'm gonna. Serious. I'm gonna keep working here. Ron's gonna. He's gonna crush it. Ron's a man. He's all in. I'm, this whole thing happened because he just kept saying, let's go get burgers. I'm like, you just sound like I get down. I felt guilty. I felt like we were doing illicit yeah. things. I'm gonna go get burgers. I'm like, yeah, let's go get burgers. I'm like, nobody's gonna say no, right? Let's, let's go. All right, so shakes for dessert, huh? And it's a go box. Yep. Yeah. Like Ooh. three or four to go boxes. Here's what we got we got the salted caramel shake, we've got the banana foster shake. We've got vanilla and chocolate, and we've got a. He almost fell. We've got a blackberry shake. Uh, salted caramel, all the way. Banana. I had salted caramel last night. I would go with home. the. Uh, you said you have a chocolate there, right? Yep. A tub. All right. <laughs> oh no! Look out! How are you? Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness! Our banana foster. That's me. You make the banana foster in house. All right. Salted caramel. Wow, look out now. Well done, Tony. I'm going to need you to grab me that other napkin because I'm going to... And a walker. Are going to synchronize this one as well? Yeah, we're going to need a... Okay, are we... Is this a spoon or a... Just a high five, come on. High five in it? Okay. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Enjoy. Right. Burger Brothers and Sisters. And Sisters. <laughs> To me, that's like the perfect consistency. Yeah, that's because you just, you just, you make just, it just drink it. You don't have to sit there and make the you know, straw and pinch itself. <laughs> it's, it's impressive to finish the burgers, but it's probably more impressive to, to down the shakes. Yeah, none of that's happening. <laughs> <laughs>